Hi, I'm Patrick Risley. I'm pastor and teaching elder here at First Presbyterian Church, Fort Lauderdale, and welcome to this week's sneak a peek. Uh, what this is where we take a moment and look ahead of what's coming up and worship in the next week or so. And uh, so today, I just wanted to highlight a couple of things. First of all, can you believe that this is going to be the fifth Sunday of Lent on our journey to the cross? It's uh, Easter is two weeks away. Uh, it has just flown by. I cannot believe it. So um, we are about to start a flurry of uh, services, in-person services for for uh, Holy Week and Easter. Uh, we have Palm Sunday coming up a week from this week. And then we have our Maundy Thursday Tenebrae service, which we will have in the sanctuary. We will have a Good Friday noon service in the sanctuary. And then on Easter morning, we're going to have two different services. One is going to be an 8 o'clock, what we'll call the sunrise service. It's going to be uh, a contemporary service out in Coley Hammock Park. And then at 11 o'clock, we will have our classical uh, uh, Easter service in the sanctuary. Uh, we have uh, the links to reserve your spaces at each of those services are up. And we encourage you to go ahead and register now. Uh, to ensure that you get a spot. Uh, at the early service on Easter morning, we will have 450 seats spatially distanced out uh, there in Coley Hammock Park, and then we'll be able to max out at about 200 people for the sanctuary on 11 o'clock that day. This Sunday, what we're going to be doing is looking at uh, John's Gospel yet again. We have sl uh, we're sliding up from John chapter 3 all the way up to chapter 12, and we're going to be looking at verses 20 to 26. Now, Jesus is in Jerusalem. There are throngs of people in the city looking to see him, pressing in to see him. And um, there is a Gentile, some Gentiles, or Greeks, as they're referred to in John's Gospel. And they are seeking to get an audience with Jesus. And that's what we're going to look at. Uh, that's what we're going to look at this weekend. And... I'm going to build my thoughts and my message around what is the cost of seeing Jesus? What does it mean to see Jesus? Uh, and so look at Scripture this week, John chapter 12, verses 20 to 26. Beloved, can't wait to see you over the next few weeks with all these different worship services. Remember to bring a friend with you uh, as we start back to uh, in-person worship and gatherings. Know I love you. We are so excited to see you and uh, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you Sunday.